power for striking is the strangest thing because you really can't you can get people to hit a little harder mm -hmm. like there's things you can do like cable drills there's some explosive plyometrics that can increase your punching power and your kicking power a little bit but not much not much where you're ever no one's ever gonna like mistake you for Melvin Manhoof or something like that there's certain people that just have crazy power and it's so weird like there's this guy Alex Pereira he fights in the UFC now but he's the only guy to knock out Stylebender. He knocked out Stylebender in a kickboxing bout, and then he finally made his UFC debut. And I was so excited about this. I'm like, because this guy has this freakish, disproportionate power where it doesn't make any sense. Like, you look at him, you're like, well, what are you made out of? Yeah. Like, you're built different. Yeah. He hits people and just sends them flying. Like, yeah. everybody goes unconscious. It's so crazy. And he hit this guy. Like, there's him right there. And look at him, slides out of the way. Like, he knows the guy's going to fall. Everybody falls with him. But he, he knocked this guy out. Like, look at this. This is, I mean, this is a good punch. But it's just the, the, the reaction that people have to strikes is just different. Yeah. Everybody goes unconscious. Is he middleweight? He's well? a middleweight, 185 pounds. Yeah. Pull up his last KO because it was fucking crazy. The guy desperately tried to get a hold of him. And hold him down. Oh, it's just us talking about him because I'm just talking about how ridiculous he is. <laughs> His it's literally like the dude's made out of wood or something. Yeah. Like when he knocks, there it is, right there, far right. No, no, no. There it is. Watch this. Boom. I mean, the dude's like, what just happened? Watch this knee. Boom. I mean, and he just walks away. And he tried to stop the fight, but Dan Mergliata was. Determined to watch that guy get murdered. So what's his record in the UFC right now? Did he just want to know? Yeah, want to know. So what's he's undefeated in, in. I think he maybe might have lost one MMA fight early in his career. So what held him back from being in the UFC sooner? Well, he was a glory kickboxing champion in two weight classes. Uh, so, so he just wanted to maintain. Yeah. That. Well, I mean, not just maintain it, but he was also preparing for the UFC. So preparing, the grappling aspect of it is a big deal. And it's also like his rise, his rise uh, as a kickboxer coincides with Glover Teixeira's rejuvenation as an MMA fighter because they train together. It's really interesting because Glover just won the light heavyweight title and he's 42, which I think is like the second oldest guy to ever win a title. Yeah, uh, and, and also in you know, a very competitive weight class against this guy, Jan Blahovic, who's a murderer, mm -hmm. right? And Glover just dominated him, took him down, beat him up, strangled him, dropped him, like hurt him bad standing, then got him to the ground, strangled him. But Glover has been training with Alex Pereira. Mm -hmm. And so they've been enhancing each other's skill set. Glover is a fantastic grappler, great wrestler, great black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and also a very good striker. But Alex Pereira is literally the scariest striker on earth. Yeah. So the two of them together, it's really greatly enhanced Glover's abilities and also greatly enhanced Alex. So the two of them together now competing in the UFC, it's a big deal. And then Alex is the same size as him too. Because yeah. even though he's, he fights at 185, he also held the glory 205 pound title. and was knocking people out at light heavyweight as well. He was the only two division champion over there. Because Adesanya posted about that guy yeah into the league. yeah i mean he knows it's a big fight for him and i'm sure he wants to get that w back or get that l back go look up alex Pereira's ko from his last fight right dude he hits people and it, it doesn't even make sense really? it's like it, it doesn't he's the same size as these people yeah but he hits them it's like he's a heavyweight and they're a lightweight i'm telling yeah. you he's got freaky power like like pacquiao had back in the day remember yeah Teixeira said to us this week, Joe, this man has a different strength, even on the ground. He says, I train with everybody. This man's appetite for MMA knowledge, his ability to learn quickly is second to none. And you're right, Glover has given this man credit every step of the way on route to the world title. This is one of my most look forward to moments in this sport. It's the emergence of Alex Pereira in the UFC. I am a giant fan of this man. I've been watching his kickboxing career. I've been watching him for 
years and years. He is truly exceptional. No overstating your enthusiasm to see him cross into the UFC. Team. I am beyond excited to see this man's debut. This is one of the most ferocious fighters that has ever entered into the sport. He is a truly exceptional striker with ridiculous power. When I say ridiculous power, I mean one punch, smash knockout power. Knocked out Israel Adesanya with one punch with kickboxing gloves. Sends guys flying. Is one of the most feared strikers to ever fight in kickboxing. The only glory two division simultaneous champ ever. This man is a monster. He's been in the gym day to day with one of the best kickboxers on earth. Great job there by Pereira. Starting. <laughs> We're just starting there, boy, because Mihal Lidas is fighting the fight that he needs to fight in order to beat one of the greatest kickboxers we've ever seen in the UFC. That's what I was speaking to with all the clinch and the grab. Oh! That dude's made out of mahogany. If you touch him, he feels like wood. He, barely, he hits so hard. Effortless, though, Joey. Just... I'm telling you, that's what this guy does to everybody. He does that to world-class kickboxers. It's like he's built different or something. He hits them with short shots, and they go flying. This is what this man has been doing his entire kickboxing career. Alex Pereira is one of the scariest fucking strikers on planet Earth. He's this dude from Brazil. He's a bad motherfucker. And this is when he fought Izzy. I think this is, I don't know if this is the first fight or the second fight, but it was a real good fight back and forth. But then this. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, he's got that kind of power. But go to uh, Alex Pereira's highlights. That said, the Izzy from back then is not the Izzy of today. No. He's way better now, way better now. Um, Alex Pereira, who was primarily a kickboxer, two division world champion in glory. Now he's made his way over to MMA and he's just show this verse, you know, here it is. This dude fucks people up. And these are with big gloves on. He's one of the most vicious knockout artists in glory history. Like unusual power. Like almost everybody gets starched. And the dude's crazy durable too. Like he gets into wars with people and... Uh, can they not throw kicks? Oh, they can, but he's... Yeah, I mean, he's got kick knockouts too, but there's a left hand, a KO Dustin Jacoby. I mean, he's a bad motherfucker.